kilogram. Under one kilogram. One kilogram. Laptop is under one kilogram. Hi guys, it's me Tiffany, also known as Talker Tiffy, and I'm here today to talk about the Acer Swift 5. I carried out an unboxing video previously that you can watch in the little cards up here. In that video itself, I was told in the comments that I should carry out a review of my experience. I've had it for about two months now, and I'm extremely happy with it, except for a few reasons. For now, let me just recap why I got the laptop. As you can see from my tossing around, this laptop is extremely light. Let's get down to business. <gasps> this is the perfect size to take out. I am able to slide it into my handbag with no problem at all. And I just find it something that's very sleek, it's thin, it's impressive, and definitely looks professional. Props for that, Acer. However, there are a few things we need to address with the laptop's performance itself. For starters, how is the typing experience? As you can see, we have a backlit keyboard. The depth of the keyboard is not particularly thick. However, before this, I have always been using a laptop and I have no issues with you know, having fidgety keys or plasticky keys. It doesn't bother me, but I definitely know those who are more comfortable using mechanical keyboards or keyboards with a bit more push to the type push to the type you get what i'm saying where, where they have more like oof every time they type something on the keyboard in addition to that the key the the ports that come with the laptop are would you say sufficient the trackpad on the other hand is also quite comfortable to use it has a bit of a like a matte like feel which makes me it gives me the heebie-jeebie and I don't know how to describe it besides the fact that if you focus on its sensation, it feels weird. Does it work well though? Yes, I haven't had any issues when I play games. I play Overcooked on this laptop and it is absolutely unproblematic but I do find myself preferring to use a mouse when I go to work and that's just something I plug into the USB port. Other than that, the laptop is also touch screen. If you wanted to key in your password on the screen, it pops up with an on-screen keyboard. However, the laptop does not go all the way flat. This is the most it will angle out. It doesn't make sense to type this way and try to try to touch screen your screen with this angle. I don't think it serves like a tablet purpose. So if you wanted to get it for its touch screen capabilities with the tablet, you're out of luck. Also, it is not touch enabled if the screen is not on. So that's something to bear in mind as well. One of the biggest questions I've gotten was how it's its volume. The sound quality on this device is okay. It is okay. I'm not particularly an audiophile. I'm not able or don't have the skill to notice how well um, something is playing. So if you are like me and you don't really pay that much attention to music, then you won't have a problem. I can comfortably watch movies on this and I don't feel like there's a real volume issue. I also am able to connect my wireless headphones to the laptop with no issue at all. So now let's get into the very problematic aspect. Its start button is nothing more than a keyboard button. Because of that, whenever the laptop shuts down or if it's asleep for too long, naturally the computer will turn off. So I work in an office and sometimes I attend meetings that take up a long part of the day. I sometimes leave my laptop plugged in before I have time to shut it off. And when that happens and the laptop goes black, I am not able to restart it by just pressing this button. It takes forever. I'm trying to bring it back to life by playing with the keypad, tapping on the on the, the, the space bar button and nothing happens. So then when I want to force restart the laptop, I have a problem because I'm not sure whether I've held the button long enough. It doesn't have that start button feel. And even if you set it on the settings to shut down never, it will still shut down even when the laptop has battery and it takes forever to restart because clicking this keyboard start button this doesn't give you the force restart feel. In addition to that, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what the battery life is like. I am not impressed. You would imagine that its battery life would be something like 6 to 8 hours. With about 2 months use, I now see it at full charge with 4 hours and roughly 22 minutes. Even when I turn it on battery saver mode, all I get is 4 minutes saved. Please bear in mind though that this laptop is under 1 kilogram. 
meaning that the battery that they put in there has to be pretty light. Maybe this will affect the juice that it gives. I would not say it's safe to bring the laptop out all day without a charger. All in all, I am very satisfied with this laptop. It fulfills its purpose. It is light. It allows me to carry out presentations because of its micro HDMI port. It is easy to carry around. I think it's a sleek looking, powerful laptop. But is it perfect? No, its battery life is not great. Plus, I do have problems where it shuts down on its own and I have problems forced restarting it. Other than that, I am extremely satisfied and I hope my review was helpful. Please feel free to leave questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you soon. Please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Thank you and bye bye! One kilogram. Under one kilogram. One kilogram. Laptop is under one kilogram. Bear in mind though, this laptop is under one kilogram.